is the Tom Hartman Program. Mark Taylor Canfield in Seattle. Hey, Mark, what's on your mind today? Hey, Tom. I hope you're doing well. So far, so um, good. I just... Knock wood. Good, good. <laughs> you too. Your program is very popular here in Seattle on the Pacifica affiliate KBCS, where I used to work with some really great journalists on Free Speech Radio News. But I wanted Isn't to that let a you know. Station? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm really excited about the fact that I just released a song called Sold Me Down the River that relates to slavery on Spotify and Apple Music and all the major platforms. Yes, so I'm a Congratulations. composer and a, a musician as well as a journalist. But I know. the reason I'm calling you today is uh, about uh, the Seattle City Council races in Seattle because I'm actually thinking about running as a candidate since there's going to be four open seats. It's going to be a big, big uh, shakeup on the, our council this year in November. Wow, and our exactly. Democratic Socialist, yeah, Shama Sawant, who you know helped start the whole $15 an hour minimum wage movement that went national and has been very instrumental in supporting the rights of Starbucks and Amazon workers to organize labor unions. She's announced she's going to retire to become a labor leader, leader and work on labor issues. And huh. but here's some of the here's some of the issues. Okay, so we ju- looks like we just passed Initiative 135, the social housing measure. So that's a good good sign. And there's actually been a lot of tech industry layoffs here too. So between high rents, lack of affordable housing, homelessness. And, you know, these tech layoffs, those are kind of the issues that all the candidates are going to have to address. Mm -hmm. It's a nonpartisan position. um, And there's a five and a quarter million dollars available to the candidates via our public financing um, program through the democracy vouchers where each individual voter gets to allocate allocate a hundred dollars in public funds to the candidates of their choice. That is so cool. And that's also that's true for city council, mayor and the city attorney. Uh Um, So. Yeah, so I'm, tra- I'm thinking about running because, you know, I, I, I would really like to bring some of these issues up on the city council. And uh, it might be the time since there's four open seats. Some of them are at-large seats and some of them are, are district seats. So do you have so a question just- or did you want to make an announcement? Do you have a website? Uh, well, Mark Taylor Canfield, I do have a, a website at, at Wix. Uh, it's best to probably, it's kind of a complicated website address. So it's probably best just to put Mark Taylor Canfield in your local search engine and and see what you you come up with but mm-hmm. i'm wondering are, are these some of the issues that people are dealing with in portland right now and what's the city council situation like down there um, portland's a mess the <laughs> portland's yeah. just a mess uh, you know i i am I'm, I'm not a a uh, I, I am not impressed by the competence of our city council here we also have an, uh, a a city council system that is going to be changing this year as a result of a ballot initiative um, that uh, it was bizarre. I mean, it was set up back in the 19th century, I believe. And uh, the, biggest, the biggest crisis that we have here is that the police are not responding to crime. Um, uh, car thefts are through the roof. I mean, over a thousand a year now. Um, uh, one of my kids has had two of her cars stolen. Uh, older cars are always at risk because they can be jacked, you know. And, and basically, it's like Uber for, for uh, homeless people. I, you know, if they want to get someplace, they just smash in the windows of a car, steal a car, drive it someplace, and leave it there. And so, that, you know, around the homeless camps, you're just constantly finding, you know, abandoned, stolen cars. Um, uh, it's, that's probably the biggest issue in the city right now, that and, and all the camps downtown. Um, it's just a mess, Mark, just a mess. Hey, Do you guys have public financing of the campaign down there? No, we don't. Uh, at least not to the best of my knowledge. Um, when you get a website that's easy to promote, if you decide to do this, let me know. I'd be glad to help you promote it. Missed my opening rant today? It's usually published over at HartmanReport.com, where you can read it and share it with your friends for free. Check it out, HartmanReport.com.